And the way we're gonna create that, uh, it's gonna be pretty simple. Uh, I just wanna create a menu item inside of a menu item. So in this case, again, I wanna take this out, the slash, I wanna make sure I create uh, the, um, the closing tag for it. Here it is. I don't have that problem. And then I'm gonna come right here and do a uh, menu item again. Here it is. Uh, Heather, it's going to be, uh, let's call the name we want it. Uh, yeah, let's just put the way I had it. Add student. And I wanna make sure now that I close it right here because I'm not gonna put anything inside of it. So I don't need to be um, to be doing a closing tag. I just can self close. Um, if I do it again now, now I can do another menu item and get the menu item header equals add class. Add class. Let me self close it. And here it is again. You can use what they call a separator. If I can remember how we use that. Um, let's see, okay, here you go. Separator. And what that does, let's see here. Let me see if I actually have to self close that. Yeah, I do. What that does is, let's actually run the program so you can see it. And I click menu item. I have the add student and I have this teeny little line in here that separates both of them. That's what the separator does. And you can actually use that in whatever you want. I'm not gonna use it. I think in this case, we don't need it. So I'm just gonna take that out and show you how it's gonna look like without it. But there are times uh, where that is actually nice. Uh, so let me take the separator out of there. Well, you know, without a separator, as we see, we can see any separator there at all. So um, that's what you use for, uh, and I'm not gonna use it right now. Another thing I probably wanna add in here is uh, exit. So menu, menu item, header, exit let me close that okay there you go now I have it all working the way I want it so far let's do another test make sure they have the exit button there of course if I press nothing's gonna happen because I don't have anything going on there um, but that's what I want to do um, let's do I'm gonna do another one in here I'm gonna do the edit I'm just gonna copy this over I won't need to exit so put it right here remember that what you want to do is oh let me actually put this a little bigger so I can see it better okay um, I just copy this over here and now I don't want this here to be self to be self closed. And I want that to close it right here. And that identifies it, it sees it. Oh I have a problem here. What is no. No no. Actually do. Let's see what is the problem here that I'm having is let me go back here again. I probably did something wrong. Okay, the edit, so, oh, okay. So let me actually just do the self-closing right here. Okay, now I'm good. Now let me get these two guys in here. And, and do that. Um, 
in this case I want to change the ad I don't want to add any more ads just gonna be for the menu I'm gonna just say edit and you can call whatever way you want it so hit this now for edit I will also have the same thing let's let's see let's run the program and see what happened so for menu I already have that for edit I do have that as well just for view I don't have it so I'm just going to do the same process again so just going to make sure I will not self close in here and I'll close it right here and I'm going to get this here and just copy that and paste it right here make sure I put them in the right place uh, and here I'll just since it's a view um, I just want to see view the students view the students I have in the school view the classes I'm just gonna take that out okay and let's run that one more time and make sure that we have that all working out we don't have any errors okay here it is now I can view students and also can view classes I edit students, edit classes, edit student, add student, add class, and exit. It's all looking good the way we want it so far. I'll just maybe change this this name to I'm gonna call it, I'm gonna call that menu. Uh, since I'm not gonna really that's not gonna be calling any function whenever I I press menu here. I don't have to change anywhere else. You won't give me an error just because I won't use it really. Um, but it's always good to test it. Just make sure go there and run it again. Whenever you change something, test it right away so you don't have to be spending hours debugging sometime in the future. Yeah, it's all looking good. So in the next tutorial, we're gonna start to implement the, the methods. Um, uh, we're gonna be adding some dialog boxes and, th and things like that that's going to help us to see what's going on. So see you next time.